Okay, this is my vintage He-Man Master of the Universe Man at Arms figure. Which I also got at the Volvo Auto Mall Antique Store. And see, it's still in good shape. Yeah, and pretty good. A few blemishes on the feet. The head has some blem blemishes and paint wearing. All in all, just. Still works. Just a few minor blemishes in the fig, and the fig is pretty much okay. So that's really all I need to do. Just fix those little blemishes. All right. Now for a complete look. All right. Here it is. The man in arms restored and and. A little bit of tiny customization. Obviously, for starters, you notice I knocked them over. <laughs> no, I was just saying, I was I, tongue tied. Oh, obviously, you notice I gave him a mustache. The mustache that he was should have had, and gave him an orange painted this cuffling here, here orange, which will look good as soon as I put the armor on him. Now, you also notice. The helmet is painted, re restored to its natural color. <laughs> Actually, I had to do this a few times because the paint was always sticking. Eventually, I had to switch to a different, different style of paint. But now it's nice and nice and dry. Different style of paint I switch to. I don't know if it. Yeah, it was flat sky blue. That's the paint you need if you're gonna do this. From testers. And I used Model Master International Orange to restore the orange on the helmet. And it was, and it actually was orange. At least, my, at least the one I had originally was orange. All right, now I'm gonna put the armor on. Him. Oh, wait, but first. The edges I that were scraped. I, I did my best to color match them. At a uh, at a distance, you really don't notice it, but it is slight. Uh, slight. It is a slight color change, color difference, but. It's not completely noticeable. <laughs> Especially when you just have them on display, you can just, you don't notice. Now, I'll put the armor on. The armor I got off eBay 
And this one's a little tough to do at a distance. Yeah. See, it's a little too difficult because even it does lock. This does lock in because, but even though it's a little broke, but I have to do it just right. <laughs> so, getting in the armor, I think that's it. No? Well, it still works even. Just have to get it right. Now the other thing I did was added some little color to the weapon with some silver here or some steel and some black for the handle. And you hear my dog going crazy because alright. Alright. And that's how it looks. Alright, that's my restored man-at-arms. Thanks for watching.